are about to start the product tour for Electrical Bid Manager from Vision Infosoft. EBM, as we call it, has evolved over 25 plus years with input from thousands of electrical estimators from all over the country, every size and type of electrical contracting business that you could imagine. Intuitive, powerful, easy to use. I think those are overly used words in the software industry. We want you to see why Electrical Bid Manager is the best value for an electrical estimating program. You simply start at the top by hitting new to start a new job. You give the job a name. You can fill out as much of this information as you need to. Come back later and fill it in or not at all. That's up to you. Once you press OK at the bottom, you've started the job and you're ready to start entering your estimate. We're going to do a measurement of a home run here. There's a 60 amp disconnect for this air handler unit, AHU1. This home run goes back to panel PP1, which is up in the top right. Now at EBM, I set up that I want one inch EMT, three number six THHN wires, and one number 10 for a ground. So we're ready to hit the button to measure. And then we just click where we're starting the home run. Go over to the right here where we're going to change directions. Come up and double click to stop the measurement. Now this run needs a vertical drop because we have to come from the ceiling area down to the panel. So we're going to add a 10 foot drop here. And then we just click with the mouse where we want the 10 foot drop. Now to count elbows I can come back to the EBM screen and we'll hit the button to count elbows. And we just click here where we want to start, here we want to change directions, and over here. And then the refresh button will take all the counts and measurements in. So that 55 feet is a 45.99 foot run plus a 10 foot drop. The one run will give us our connectors, connectors at each end, three elbows, and we'll hit F2 takeoff. And we're going to put in 10 feet of makeup wire. That gives you 5 feet at each end. And that entry is done. We're going to take off some devices next, some receptacles. In the EVM screen, you see that I've already selected a 20 amp duplex spec gray with a plastic plate. And I'm including 20 feet of MC cable which, with each receptacle assembly. So we're going to hit the little button here to activate the counting. And then you just simply click with your mouse and you can see it highlights as we go. You can zoom out or zoom in as necessary. At any point, if you want to stop counting duplex receptacles and go count something like those quad receptacles, you just hit the little red button to put the count for the duplexes into EBM. You hit F2 takeoff and it'll process those. Now for those quad receptacles, we just go back one level on the EBM screen to the quad receptacles. 20 amp spec gray plastic plate. Going to include the same wiring, 20 feet of MC cable. Hit the little button to start the counting. Over here on the plan swift screen, we just click with our mouse. And it counts those separately. You can either continue counting those. Or if you want to count something else, hit the little red button to stop processing that. Puts the count of seven assemblies that I just took off onto the EBM screen. And we hit F2 takeoff. So that's how we count devices. Job extension is probably the most important part of finalizing your, your bid. It's simple but big time number crunching. The job extension report over here to the left allows it to multiply the quantity of every item we've taken off in our estimate by the price of the material and the amount of labor. So the goal here is to get the total cost of material and the total number of hours of labor. Now in the price column, we're going to set it to the default, which is target, which is based on a national average of what electrical contractors pay. You can adjust it further if you want to use your local supplier's pricing. On labor, we're addressing the degree of difficulty. Do we think this job is easy or difficult? If it's somewhere in the middle, we can leave it in column two. 
Column three would raise the labor hours, column one would lower it. By going to extension spreadsheet here, it's going to pause and ask you for any values that have been left as open, things that we haven't plugged in a value for yet, so it doesn't let you forget anything. I'm going to put an hour and a half on this time clock. And then it brings me to the extension report in a spreadsheet format here so we can do our final editing. On this report, we can change the quantity. We can change the price of the material. Right now it's $77.01 per hundred feet. We can change the labor value, two and a half hours per hundred feet. By simply double clicking on that line, we can go down here and change the target price. When you hit save, it brings you back to the spreadsheet and you can continue editing. When you're done with your changes, you hit refresh to update the totals. And then we can come down here to the bottom and look at the total numbers. So these are important numbers that the program generates. It's 43,126. That's our total material cost without sales tax and without any quoted materials like lighting or gear. It'll actually prompt us when we go to the final report to plug those numbers in. On the labor hours here, the 835.87, that's total hours for the job. And again, that will be multiplied by your labor cost on the final reports. When we're done making our final edits, we can print out a hard copy or we can save this as a PDF file by going to preview report. That's what the report will look like if we print it or again, if we save it as a PDF file. After you finish job extension, we go to job totals where it pulls the total material cost and the total labor hours into your final bid. Now, before we even open up this final screen, it's reminding us that we need to put a quote in for the fixtures and a quote in for the distribution, the switch gear. So we'll hit OK and we'll address that first. Here's the material that came from the job extension, this $43,000 number. You plug in a quote, so you just click on the line for quotes. If I want to put a quote in for my lighting down here, and then to put my switch gear, my distribution in, up at the top left, I just change it to distribution. And until I plug numbers in here, it's going to keep reminding me that I need to put some values in here. So now it's going to add that to the rest of my material, plus it updates the sales tax accordingly. If you need to adjust your sales tax for the particular job, you can do that. Now the labor hours here from the job extension are multiplied by your labor rate, something you set up in the beginning of the system so that it represents your cost of labor. In a typical example here, we might have half of the hours for the journeyman, half of the hours for the helpers, and then their base rates and burdens. We can adjust these numbers now, or if we want to use a different setup, we can do that. When I press OK, I go back to the total screen. Let's say this job's going to require some additional driving time because it's outside of our normal area. If I go into non-productive, let's put in 85 hours. I'm going to use the same hourly rate that we did over here for the cost. Direct job expenses would be things like maybe a permit, if you need to rent a backhoe, if you need to rent a trencher, tool rentals, anything else that you need to add to your final cost of the bid. Tools and miscellaneous materials, you can also put a percentage in. I'm going to add 3% just to account for wear and tear and loss and theft of, of materials and equipment on the job. And finally, if I need to subcontract something like the fire alarm, that would be down here. Just plug in the total. And that adds all to my prime cost. This number here, 117855 that's our prime cost. That's just our break-even number. That's what it's going to cost us out of pocket to purchase our materials, pay our employees, and any other direct cost of the job. Finally, we can add overhead and profit. I'm going to plug in 15% for overhead. And then I'm going to plug in 10% for profit. And that gives us a final number here. Now, if I want to just round that number down, I can. And then there's a couple reports we can do here. The detailed one is the one we typically do here. I'm going to include the quote details. And again, this is what the report would look like if I print out a hard copy 
or save it as a PDF. Electrical Bid Manager is easy to use. It's intuitive. It's powerful. It can handle a small $2,000 service upgrade up to a multi-million dollar commercial or industrial project. But what really makes EBM the best value for an electrical estimating program is its efficiency and accuracy. All of the takeoff modules are designed for the quickest and easiest input of your estimate. And at the end, you know your numbers are accurate and that you'll have a competitive and consistent bid one after another. Take a look at EBM. We think you'll find it's the best value for an estimating program on the market today.